leap of faith with a soft landing. Jump through fear, as we've been talking about fear, into your future. Well, sometimes we have to walk by faith and not by sight. You know, uh, a scenario could be painted that, you know, it's not good. Uh, there's no way out of it. There's no hope. We're not going to make it. And But sometimes you just have to, like, take a deep breath and go, you know what? We're going to make it. We're going to get this. I don't know how. I don't know what day. I don't know what's going to change. I don't know when it's going to change, but I refuse to let go. And that's faith. Even if, if every circumstance told you no. Mm -hmm. And that comes from right inside that person. Stand still and get run over. Right. If you're standing still, you're going to get run over, and so you got to be on the move to go forward mm. in, in any endeavor, whether you're a mother, a father, a grandmother, aunt, uncle, you know, an executive, you're driving a bus, or you're operating a locomotive. People have to be on the move. Because, you, know, you know, what I, what I find with my clients, when they, when they get to this, this stopping point, when they're going to stop and they're going to, like, start this reevaluating, you know, the analysis to paralysis, you know, and everything becomes static, something's going to T-bone them. Mm. And so they have to stay cognizant of everything around them, right? And they got to be aware and they got to be willing to keep moving or you will get run over. Self-appraisal works wonders. It does if it's done in the right, with the right heart. Not being overly critical. We, we live in a society where people are very insecure. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think insecure people are very dangerous because they're fickle. You don't know what they're going to do, like, a, like a, 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 a bomb that's going to go off. But we have to be willing, you know, to stand in front of the mirror and go, okay, this is true and that's not true. This is right and this is wrong. And what can I do today to start making changes and hold true to your word? And that's not being arrogant, and that's not being pompous. That's just being real. And there's a lot of people that look in the mirror and go, hey, I'm perfect. See ya. And okay, well, good luck. Mm -hmm. God bless you, because I think you're going to have a problem. We just have to be pliable. We have to allow situations, circumstances, and people to contribute to our lives and be willing to mold. Not to be pushed around, not to be used, not to be abused, but we have to stay in that position where I'm going to learn something today, just like I'm learning something sitting here across from you today. 